Something a little different today. I actually went out the door hours and hours ago. It's a noontime update. And I went out a lot of doors. I went out the, out the, the ski lodge door. And I went out the Service. gondola door. And I found winter. Yep, we traveled to winter. Now let's go out the room door here. At Mount Mansfield, Stowe, Vermont, where last night when we were driving up, it was grippy and flaky at the same time. Even when we got here, it was still 36 degrees. So, it's another January thaw in southern New England. The low temperature was 35 to 40. But at the top of Mount Washington, it was actually 10 degrees. So that kind of cold on top of that kind of warm is instability. And we have some instability snowflakes. But at least the dripping has halted. We have icicles now. So we've got some wintry weather here in the Northeast, but not a lot. Our storm from yesterday is pulling out after doing just tremendous damage. I'm not sure that anybody had forecast record high tides like the ones that occurred. Henry Swenson, yeoman effort with the drone. And then was it Scott? I had some good humor here. He said, when I signed my lease, they didn't tell me it was gonna be waterfront property. Sadly, we may repeat that again this weekend. And then next week. Let's go to the short term. This is just a mind-boggling, dizzying array of weather. A weak low pressure system is gonna go racing through the Great Lakes. It's sort of an offshoot from that Northwest blizzard. Most of the energy from that Northwest blizzard is headed south, but this little offshoot's gonna come across the Midwest and then just kinda zip across Vermont tonight. So here's the NAM showing what's going to happen tonight. That little bit of snow, maybe an inch or two of snow, and then a bit of a, a lull for our Friday into early Saturday. Things are going so fast. Here comes another storm on Saturday. Just remarkable. At NAM, there it is coming in here for uh, looks like Friday night, snow and rain, and almost a repeat with the rain snow lines we just had, but nowhere near as much precipitation. Uh, real heavy rain for a short time, probably without the thunder coming through here in southern New England, pulling out pretty quickly on Saturday morning. Snow showers lingering in the north. Looks like, once again, uh, from the northeastern kingdom of Vermont through Mount Washington to Sugarloaf, it's mostly snow, but this time it's more like uh, 6 to 12 inch snow instead of that 25 that we got in Mount Washington in the last storm. And that also has a very low barometer. If we widen it out and show it on the Euro, lower 48, you can really see deepens through the 970s once again as it goes through the Great Lakes. So that's a blizzard on the west side of that storm. And it's that real low barometer and a new moon that's gonna generate some record challenging high tides. The highest tide in the last 20 years at Connecticut Point in Rhode Island was during Hurricane Sandy and that was October in 2012 and the forecast is very close to that now from the northeast river forecast center they do the ocean too of near record high tides and same thing in portland maine uh, it looks like the the wind is going to be out of the southeast at about 45 knots just offshore at midday or early morning on in portland maine on saturday as the tide is incoming and there's the forecast going right up to just about where it was yesterday on these forecasts and sometimes these are underdone. So once again, coastal flooding and that low is gonna, watch this low now in the lower 48, watch how it goes uh, across north and then it uh, rotates west across Hudson Bay. Talk about a block, that storm's gonna move west across Hudson Bay. That's gonna push much colder air into the northeast here again on Sunday, uh, not really again, the coldest air we've seen sometimes Sunday and Monday. And then we have another system coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now yesterday, the Euro had that storm deepening to something like 952 over Maine, and now it has it way weaker and way further south, 994 south of Nantucket by 500 miles. So add those up and divide by two. We're going to get another nor'easter here Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then from the ridiculous department comes what's supposed to happen after that, according to the Euro. And I know this, this is crazy. Um, Weir is with me, and he just commented, if this happens, I'll believe in climate change because the Euro deepens a storm to 946, 945, uh, just north of Maine on next Friday into Saturday, January 20th. That just cannot happen. I mean, that's the, the same central pressure that Hurricane Sandy had uh, in 
that was a hurricane. So this would be a winter hurricane. And even if it just deepens to something like 970, once again, that is just ridiculously low pressure and this just ridiculous parade. And yeah, you want to see the parade of giant serpentines continue. So the storms are all lined up. It is getting colder in Canada, but that ridge in Florida just won't budge. So that's why we have to deal with these rain snow lines. But it's looking now like uh, that Wednesday system is, it's almost a lock that it's going to do something here. And Martin on Nantucket, it even tries to snow on Nantucket. Here's the, the 10 day snowfall forecast. Uh, I, it's just crazy with this coast to coast. This will be you now going into week 12 of coast to coast snow. And just look at that. That's feet and feet of snow across parts of uh, southeastern Canada and northern New England around Mount Washington where uh, there have been some natural avalanches. There was a tiny little natural avalanche on a trail at Wildcat yesterday. I mean, nothing real scary, but it slid. So amazing amount of snow with rain on top of it. As for what's going on around here, skiing was pretty nice up top uh, this morning. I'm gonna do a snow report later today, so I'm not gonna get into that too much, but very different uh, conditions way up there where it stayed fairly wintry from down below, but at least that wet snow was groomed out nicely and gondolier is skiing really nice nicer over there than the, the forerunner but that's a, a story for another time so yesterday traveling up from new england i saw a, another rainbow coming up yesterday those april like showers so i'll leave you with some in more of the travel yesterday and uh admiring how uh, the designers of our highway systems kind of put the roads right where rain snow lines are and where there's more snow on the ground and uh, getting to weirs to have a deep snowpack was kind of gratifying after seeing it all melt down at my house. So that's uh, belated out the door today, and I'm probably going to try and do a snowcast. If not today, then tomorrow, I'm expecting an inch or two of snow uh, to make tomorrow morning nice. And it was kind of windy up there, but it looks like the wind is finally dying down. All right, talk to you again in a little while. Love these April showers in January. Very unstable. One of them may have snowflakes or grapple coming out of it. The freezing level's down to about 3,000 feet over Boston right now. Be driving in that direction momentarily. Lord willing. Cleaning up, fixing up, preparing for another one. Is that an eagle? No. Oh, across the street, jump. <laughs> Little river. River runs through it. I think past five inches of rain since Saturday. Uh, just about five. Some places had five last night. The snowplow put a big pile of worm chow right there for us, Rex. Take it home. Wow, just wow. What's the record high for today? Feels like it's about 55. Yet in that blue, blue sky, those are snowflakes floating up there out of that cloud. Very unstable. Wish that thing worked. Weatherman with broken weather instruments all over the place, but I did fix that back door thermometer yesterday. It only took an hour. Pretty cool uh, how the snow follows the highways north and west of I-95. I'm starting to see a little snow on the side of the road. It will build up fast once you get north of 495 and west of 93. Monitor that situation. This is more like it. Now I can go slow and make more videos, but you can see the burga there. It would be precipitation coming out of the cloud and evaporating, and that would be snow precip snow precipitation. Yeah, that's right. What's wrong with this picture? That car is not pointed in the right direction. Ouch. He's probably making a video while he was driving or something. Truly amazing. Right as we approach 495, there's some snow on the ground. As if the Eisenhower era engineers of these highways knew, let's put the roads right in the rain snow line so that the meteorologists can have an easier time describing where the rain snow lines are going to be. What's up, Chuck? Going skiing. Free ski Friday. Nice too. Now entering the area that got pretty much 18 inches of snow three days ago. What's this called? Middlesex or Essex County? Yeah, I keep forgetting those. Mix them up. The one that's further inland. Haverhill came in with the jackpot thanks to that back door front and the ocean effect snows. So all of a sudden we have snow on the ground again. 
Middlesex Road. So I would guess this is Middlesex County. Does that sound about right? Not only do the highways do a good job of uh, delineating snow lines, uh, state lines do a good job of delineating snow lines. Welcome to New Hampshire. Rainbow number two of the day, and it's a big one. Uh, much more common to get rainbows as the sun's going down, but guess what? Snowflakes do not make rainbows, so that means that that is rain all the way up to the top of that bow. Uh, that's a refraction, reflection, refraction inside the raindrops with the sun behind us. Right? We learned that one today. On the fly, making it up as I go. And you can see the top of that kind of fades right there. That's probably where the snow is up like 3,000 feet. And you can see the snow coming out of the clouds there up towards Manchester, New Hampshire. Back River Road, Merrimack, New Hampshire. I love coming to visit Weir. It reminds me of when I was a, a boy and we had Christmas in the Berkshires. Growing up on Cape Cod, there was never snow on the ground. And then we drove to Uncle Alan and Aunt Sue's in Dalton, Massachusetts, and there was always snow on the ground at Christmas. Sort of like that when you come down Back River Road here in Merrimack. It seems like this is a nice hollow, and the snow is always deepest right here. Took a hit. You got about a foot of snow two days ago, and now it's just, as we like to say, Apache. It's Apache snow left over with a lot of water in it. You can see what I mean there. The face is kind of north, so. Still plenty of snow on the ground. Oh, these snow, you got a couple snowman survivors there. Nice job. We got some lush swampiness in the lawn and the duck pond was frozen, no longer frozen. And we've changed from music to the news. Always got the news and a nice cloud though. Sunset. That's the edge of winter returning, I do believe, over there. Coming in from the west. So we're gonna chase down winter and see if we can find it. Head north. North. So pretty. All right, that's enough, I guess, for today. I mean, it's gonna be dark when we get to Vermont. Oh, raindrops again. And the temperature is 42 degrees. Get some billowing cumulus clouds on the dashboard. 47. Yeah, Is it? That's 47. 40 degrees. 1178. Okay. I don't know what's going on. But it's so right. warm. But meanwhile, yeah. Chick says it's Sometimes snowing. Sometimes there is a little at weight. The base of Killington. You know, oh my goodness. Pretty popular spot. Left sounds good. 41 degrees, sun just went down, it's five o'clock, missing live at five with Chuck Nolan. And this is one of the stops, you know, on the way up to Vermont. Whale back, looking good, completely snow covered. I think they got like five or six inches last night. And it's drizzling and about 40 degrees, even though we just talked to Chick Knight and he said it was snowing all the way down to the base of Killington. Oh well, it is what it is. That's it for tonight. More and more and more and more. Good night. I mean, good day. All right, we've been to the Matterhorn. We've been up the road. It's about, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 8.30. And it's still 36 degrees at about 13, 1400 feet. And we have dripping. Did not really expect that. But that snow up top, we got that going for us. And the freezing level is definitely coming down. So that's it for the more and more and more and more snow on the road. So there must be snow on the mountain. Yeah.